What are we doing today? Something a little bit different, yet much of the same. Uh, we have a Nixie clock here, which I picked up a while back now. As you can see, it's quite a nice looking clock, but it's got a big fat NICAD battery in there. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that with a nickel metal hydride battery, which I picked up from Element 14. So I'll uh, get us over to the workstation, set up, and uh, let's get it underway. This is about as close as I can get, given that uh, I'm working on top of a terror drive at the moment. <laughs> um, so this particular Nixie Clocks was made by Chronix in Poland. Fantastic looking clock. First step is to remove the four screws from the base. They are quite long screws. Probably best if you're working on a solid surface. Um, Terra drives without their case, you know, not the not the most solid of working areas. Oh, okay. Excellent, so the side part comes off. Perspex. Very careful not to scratch the perspex. Done. You have one Nixie clock, which we can have a look at nice and up close. So there's the battery we're replacing. 3.6 volt, 60 milliamp, replacing with a 3.6 70 milliamp. Vata. So uh, the one that was used in this one that I've got was a uh, three prong. I guess that's quite helpful because then you can't really get it in back to front. construction work on this is quite impressive, quite a nice finish. The back of the unit. And the base. Very, very nice looking PCB. So to remove that battery we need to desolder three points, which are nice and easy to see just there. One, two, three, and that will set it free. Um, two choices on what you can use for desoldering. You can use either desolder braid or you can go with a desolder gun. Now I'm going to go with the desolder. The gun's nice and easy, but the braid's probably what most people, you know, who will even be looking at this, will be using. So, uh, there you go. You can use another type as well. It's like that tracks just join through there. Cool. You must make sure it's a rechargeable battery though, otherwise use a blocking diode of some sort to stop 
voltage going into a non-rechargeable battery that will result in a fire. You don't want a fire in your house. Unless it's a clock for someone else, a gift. Never actually tried to remove one of these. And I won't till one breaks. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get a soldering iron and some desolder braid. So there's our three points there. And you should have a soldering iron with a tip. Surprise mine hasn't actually rusted through yet. It's quite impressive. No way. My soldering iron is hacko. You can't see that, but it is. So make sure you've also got a sponge, a damp sponge to clean off your soldering iron. Tin the tip. Just making sure it's nice and good. Uh, and you need your desolder braid. Remember that desolder braid does get awfully hot awfully quick. You don't want to apply heat for too long to a battery. If you can see that there, the top hole now looks nice and clear. Too warm, which is good. <clears throat> Pardon me. I just saw a spark. Did you see a spark? It's another. Oh, that is very hot. That is very hot. Ow. Whenever you burn yourself, make sure you go and uh, rinse your burnt finger or arm, hand, leg, foot, I've done that before, under cold water for a few minutes. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Fun. Ah, anyway, back, back to it. There you go. Now, should just be as simple as bending those pins and setting the battery free, so let's give that a try. Remember, of course, there could always be some solder still holding it in. In my case, there was not. So, things we've observed so far not to do. Do not burn yourself on the solder braid. Do not accidentally bridge the solder braid over the circuit board. <laughs> but things to do include removing the battery properly. Which I guess I haven't really done because I've shorted things and burnt myself. Use a flat surface. Okay, so next step is to put the new battery in. Solder it in, that's easy. I'm gonna do that right now. I don't need to break to do that.
I wouldn't actually mind getting one of these kits. Sorry, I'm just installing the battery. Wouldn't mind getting one of these kits that you can actually uh, put together yourself. But I wanted something nice. Don't worry, that was a happy clip. Click. I think. Battery's physically in there. Now it's just a matter of soldering. stand is just too high. Soldered. A bit more blobby than I would have liked, but and you get what you can get. Uh, next step is to hook it all back up and give it a go. So we'll meet back at the clock. And we're back in one piece. Looks pretty good. Green battery instead of a blue battery. We're in for a bit of a treat in the next few seconds though, as we get the uh, anti-poisoning routine which prevents the uh, digits from messing up, really. Steins Gate much? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, I probably should test the battery. Actually, a better idea would have been to check if the battery has any charge before I unplug it and lose all the time settings. One way to find out. Good! Kept the time. Thanks for watching RetroJunkie.net. Subscribe! More Sophia videos coming up. I promise.